Hello and welcome to this mod review for these 8030 series of John Deere tractors. So we can see one glaringly obvious issue with them to start with, or maybe two. We've got grey wheel hubs and the number decals don't quite look right on the bonnet there. There is a warning in the log for an attacher joint on these. So not completely warning free, but I've not seen any errors at the moment. So we've got the full range in front of us here. Got an 8130, 8230, 8330, 8430, and 8530 on monster tars. We've got various options with wheels and tars as usual. Another slight issue in there with drive shaft colours and everything with that one. So not perfect, but they're not that bad. So we've got front hitch option, front weights. Or nothing is the other option whatsoever, even the weight hanger is missing. So we have got hoses for the front linkage there. This is on the bog standard Trelleborg tars. Got Michelin duels on this one. Michelin wide tars on this one. Trelleborg wide tars and weights on this one. And Goodyear flotation tars on this one. So I think that's the first one I've actually seen that's got Goodyear tar option on it. Needs a little more refinement on the sort of uh, axle area there. Because as far as I'm aware the hubs and everything should be green as well, not grey on them. From what I can remember these in real life. I've never seen grey hubs on the John Deere. So let's take a look at one of these inside. We do have one in use elsewhere on the map at the moment, so the steering column moves down as we go in. Got power shift transmission there. Not too bad inside, the textures and everything. If we go outside and just take a look at lighting as per usual. So front ones will work. Rear lower work lights, rear upper and front upper. No issues there. Front left and front right indicators. No issues with indicators and finally no issues with beacons. So coming inside if we just start it up. Bit of a fluty bit there could do with sorting out. I think it just wants moving up to behind the radio there that piece. It's the radio surround. Just needs moving up in GE. So engine rev speed will work in the corner there. Come outside we've got a moving fan in the engine. Custom sounds on it. Try the front linkage out. I have to say I've got one with a cultivator on, on elsewhere on this map. So slight issue with the attacher point there being far forward on the lift arms. Nothing too disastrous. So they all sound the same. See this one is absolute bog standard in that respect. Whereas we have got two other options in here. We've got the large stainless steel straight pipe. The straight pipe with an LED light bar on the front of the roof and standard exhaust LED light bar on the front of the roof there. We're going to take this big beast up to where the other one is. Just see what they do on the road. Glad they've got custom sounds on. They do sound quite nice.
corner well. We have got an 8530 over here on the big Porsche cultivator. It's been ripping up sugar beet. That's a neat trick if you can do it. I think you'll be able to do that with a bale in real life. Gotta love the game physics sometimes when you do that with a stop sign. So you've got the big one over here. So I'm not worried about crops on this map because it isn't a map I actually play the game on, it is literally for this purpose. And I want the big field I could test this on. Or at least leave a helper to test this on, more to the point. Help has been having no trouble with this. See, we've got dynamic hoses on there which all connect up in the right places. It's a big plus over some of them we looked at. Some nice clear detail on the back end of these ones. Very sharp image as well. Sharp edges to things on there. Shaft sort of turns they should do in there. And there was an issue with um, a John Deere Modern 17 where the drive shaft done all sorts of silly things under there. It's got all the new material textures on it as well on the steelwork. inside. All in all these are rather nice mod, those few issues aside. Wheel rooms certainly get dirty as do the tars. Hadn't really been used long enough for the actual paintwork to have a chance to get dirty yet. Could really do the thread textures on those drop arms. Other than that, it's not bad at all. It's quite a well detailed mod, this one. Lots of detail in the engine. Okay, there's a few issues, but... Not bad at all. So let's have a look at this in the shop. So unsurprisingly, they're under large tractors. In the 80s, 30s. So I will say the shop image leaves a lot to be desired. As does how it actually spawns with black rims. So we have got every colour option there. So we can get the colours right on it. A bit annoying that needs to um, extra money to have it in its John Deere colours, really. That's in Fent Nature Green as standard. So we've got trolley box standard with whites, wide, with whites, twins, rare twins, twin narrows, and back to standard. Michelin, standard, wide, twin, and back to standard, and Goodyear, Territors. Design, 3000 kilo weight or nothing. Look better if the weight hang was on there with nothing, in my opinion. We've got the straight pipe there. Standard with LED bar. Straight pipe LED or nothing. We have front loader attacher or front linkage. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 530. 8530R, 8530 chip. So there's a fair selection in there. For 750 horsepower. Might be pushing it a bit slightly with these. Don't remember the 8530 being 500 horsepower.
standard meaning only rear PHO or front PHO options. Um, haven't looked at this with a front loader because it's not something we'd obviously see here in the UK. Never seen one with a front loader on over here. I guess as there is a front loader option, it would come with its own one. So it's an H480 in there and a bucket for it. So big front loader for that one. So I don't think we'd ever see that. But as it's in there, let's take a look at that as well. Both of these. 3,500 litre bucket. That could come in useful in other places. So we'll have it in the matching colours. Which means we better lease the John Deere with the brackets on. I can't alter one I've got because they are all leased tractors. We'll put this in the right colours. Get the right way around. Leave it all as standard. Front loader attacher. And put it like that. Release that. Just to see what this looks like. And really to see what the front loader is like. So I have a suspicion there could be an issue with the front loader and the bodywork myself. But that bucket is definitely going to come in useful elsewhere. No, it just misses. I was wrong to be suspicious in this case. It looks to me like that loader might be in the wrong shade of green. So no hoses on the loader but at least it all functions as it should do. Which is good. Whether that loader will fit the standard in-game ones as well, I have no idea. It's something we could just check. Because I could see it being useful on that heavier duty loader. Let's have a look at the standard in-game John Deere. So we'll go with the 6R. So that does come with a loader bracket. At least that and we'll just check that one. See how it actually fits, if it fits. Be a nice little addition if we have got another big loader that could be used. Got the wrong brackets on there for that loader. Still fits though. If you don't mind the brackets being slightly wrong, got another big heavy loader here. So there we go. That's where we leave this mod review. So for now, I will say I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.